and get a win. It feels great. You had to come back in because DeAnthony was about to steal your job, you know. <laughs> it's DeAnthony Thomas, you know, he's a great player. And uh, it definitely is a good feeling to know that you have guys behind you that can go in and pick right where you left off and take it further. Coach always talks about every game's rivalry in the Pac-12, but for you to leave never having lost the leaders, how important is that for you? I mean, it's important. Every game is important, you know, but, I mean, this being the in-state rivalry that it is and the tradition behind it, to have won five in a row, you must speak volumes. Do you watch games now tonight and, and, and worry about what happens no, or not? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go enjoy this win. I'm going to have fun with my family that's here. And, uh, Find out tomorrow what the situation is. I'd rather not watch. Can you, what, what was really kind of going right for you in the first half where you really exploded for over 100 yards? Oh, we're just able to get things going. Um, you know, the guys did a great job of front blocking, blocking to where I could get to the edge and uh, burst upfield. And when we took it inside, they did a great job. Marcus did a great job pulling it from his way. It was just an overall great effort by, by the team. When you describe your injury, how you guys bounce back. After losing the first game, what is that? Talking about how you guys bounce back, the way you bounce back. You can do. Uh, Ross can do three things. You can allow it to do three things. So you can let it define you, destroy you, or strengthen you. And with this team, every loss that we've taken in the past, we've been strengthened us and made us stronger. And so looking back on Stanford, it was a loss. We knew that we needed to do to get back on the winning track, and we did that. How well, do you know what happened this time? What is that? How do you know what happened this time with this particular team that you guys would bounce back that way? It's just, it's just the, the characteristics of the team. Um, we're never down. We never feel like we're out. We're never, our heads are never down after any situation. Um, this is an extremely confident team. So even after that loss, you come into Monday's practice and you would have thought we were the one. Uh, the way that happens, you know, so it, it's just the characteristics of the team. What was the injury? What, what was the injury? <laughs> what was it? Yeah. It was a small injury, minor injury. <laughs> Ribs? No, minor injury. As an offense, <laughs> as an offense, when, <laughs> as an offense, when you get the defense and special teams turning them over and you get a short field, you guys just feel that's it now. Oh, that touchdown! Um, anytime you can get a turnover and have a short field, you know, within this offense, we, we're right away thinking touchdown. You know, we would like to score on the very next play, um, but anytime you get a turnover on that short of a field, you got to think touchdown. Um, no shot for a field goal. Touchdown. What was, what was the decision making like that you decided to go back and you feel ready? The decision making is this is my last regular season game. My team needs me, uh, and I want to be in there with my team. That, that, there, there hasn't been anything, that I, any kind of injury that I've sustained throughout the season that was going to keep me down. Nothing was going to keep me out of this game. You didn't need to take any like pain shots no, or anything no like shots, that? No shots, no shots. There was a point where it looked like you were going into the game and then you you walk back out yeah, and you and Chip had me. a couple of words. Yeah, what what did you talk words. about? <laughs> what was said? Player coach conversation. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. It was just a play, you know, it wasn't it wasn't anything bad, it wasn't anything extreme, but I just let him know, yo, I wanna play. You know, um, I'm ready to go. Let me play. You know, did that take some convincing? No. I mean Coach Kelly, he trusts me. Um, they know that I'm a smart guy when it comes to my body and how I feel, and they know if I can't go, I can't go. Um, but even if I couldn't go, I would have told them that I could. So, uh, <laughs> so you but know, I trust you anymore. Right, well, having that trust there, that helps, you know. Um, but it, it was nothing major. Michael Clay, Nick Elliott.